channel. In this video we're gonna have a look to the new fall winter collection by Chanel. I decided to purchase a combination of colors by Chanel and if you're interested in all the collection I uploaded a video a few weeks before and you can watch it on my YouTube channel here. So if you're new don't forget please to subscribe to my channel. Too. Yes, I took the grey combination Stilo Ombre in Contour Graphite with La Mai Acier Liquid Eyeshadow. So the grey symphony and here is the product out of the boxes. So you see it's a beautiful silver shade. So let me tell you why I've chosen this grey. It's because it's quite a universal shade. So it really suits every color. So every eye colors, every color combination I mean because grey is a neutral. I've seen the Chanel promo image and it was really about a more graphic eye look. So I really wanted to play with these two products and see how they could work. I personally love this kind of product. I have other two. I have this one that is the new de Plat, and I have also Contour Claire that probably you see me use it very much because I really love it to give a little bit of shape to my eyes. It's a very good color for um, fair skin in particular to, to contour to create a little bit of shadow and I really wanted to, to try another color and I think the grey is one probably I use the most uh, also as a call for example or also to add a little bit of depth in my eyes and I saw that they add a, they add a shaper I'm so grateful because I couldn't shape this eyeshadow properly so I'm really glad that I thought it could be matte the shade instead it has a little bit of brilliance just a very very subtle but I thought it could be matte completely matte but it's not I don't know why in my hand it doesn't show but once applied on my lid I saw just very very subtle so not completely matte and it's quite good because it wouldn't absorb the, the light but it could reflect light and for a grey shade that's quite important. I just want to let you show you near the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow. This is the color story. You see how reflective this eyeshadow is. I really love also the pink eyeshadow that Chanel released but maybe we have enough of pink and red for next season. The contour stilo that we have with the pink eyeshadow, so it should be contour maroon if I don't get wrong, it looks very similar to Psyche eye pencil that I already have. I don't want to purchase a dupe, so maybe I could consider to buy separately this pink eyeshadow, but I don't know. So, uh, let's talk about uh, the, the effect uh, and the texture of this product. I really love them together because I really love this kind of grey shade. You can really play it quite easily with this product. I personally wanted to, to try this combination using just before the contour stilo in this part to give it a little bit of shape to my eyes and then add the liquid eyeshadow. So there is the second part of the video where I apply these um, two products so if you're interested please watch the second part but basically I contoured my eyes with a stilo and I added the liquid eyeshadow on the mobile lid I suggest you to 
take just a little bit of product onto your and put it onto your hand and then take a sponge applicator like this for example and press it on the mobile lid so in this way you have more pigmentation and you really can control and spread the product properly that's my suggestion to apply this product because if you use just your fingers maybe you have to build it up a little bit more so it applies more evenly if you use this kind of applicator or if you like also the, the sponge applicator of this um, of this product but I love use it another sponge because I can wash it and use it more um, more easily I combined with uh, Kitten Mischief by Lisa Aldrich you see this is a beautiful color and the reason why I chosen this lipstick is simply because I really love it near a gray because and even if gray can really go with everything I really love it to use with something a little bit warm to create a more soft look instead if you use a cool pink maybe you have a more harsh look in a way so if you're interested in the application of these products please follow the second part of the video so let's start applying contour graphite so here is the color and I try to contour my lid like this and I smudge it with my finger quite quickly because this eyeshadow really sets quickly and I just place it in the socket line like this color is amazing and if you love the gray shade from Chanel this color is absolutely beautiful it has a little bit of shimmery in it so it's not completely matte in my opinion it's very beautiful it reminds me of the gray mono eyeshadow from Chanel in a way that they have a lot of luminosity also and yes I want to place it here now and blend it just to just to have a little bit of shape and I gently blend it a little bit on my lids but very very lightly so just as as a, as a base in a way and so. now I take the liquid eyeshadow and then I go back with this so let's take uh, La Me Acier I don't want to apply it directly on my eyelid but I put it just a little bit on my hand like this and I take a sponge take a little bit and I press it onto my mobile lid like this and to me it's one of the best way to apply because when you use your finger maybe you take it a little bit away instead with a sponge you can really press it and fix it like this with the right intensity you see Now I do the same on the other eye and it's very easy to use you see okay now I go back with uh, contour graphite and I shape my eyes so I wait 
a minute that this product, the liquid product, fixes a little bit onto my lid and I go under I smudge it a little bit So you can intensify the outer part quite easily. And blend it with your finger like this. So consider it's a cream product, so you have to define your shape just before. So you can't really blend it like a powder but it's very soft so you can really play and adjust a little bit but you have to have in mind the, your eye shape and the shape you want to achieve so you can get you can go back with the liquid eyeliner and use it over to melt all together so uh, as you can see with the uh, artificial light uh, this product um, has a texture that is not really so matte so it's like a see-through <laughs> in fact uh, so you don't achieve a very heavy smoky look with this uh, kind of grey but if you step back and you see the result in natural light you can see a more uh, covered effect so the shade is uh, very beautiful but if you want to intensify the effect I suggest to try to use uh, a little bit of powder maybe just here in the corner this, this is the beautiful Dussor and Serenity palette so I read you this palette also and you can intensify just a little bit uh, the outer part if you if you like instead if you wanna have a more uh, sheer so not see-through but sheer was the right term to use so mm, it's really beautiful also by itself it really depends by the effect you would like to to get in my opinion so mm, so you see it's a quite different makeup look it's more about um graphic i think look also the the look we were seeing on Vittoria Cerretti was more about a graphic look so it really depends by you the way you want to use this product because you can really use it also with a light texture for example because this grey is really more brilliant texture so not particularly matte in my opinion and you can really use it by itself to have just a wash of color and it's also beautiful in the inner part of the eye and also the liquid eyeshadow is very versatile because you can use it just in a subtle way just to have a wash of color more metallic or you can use it more with a more full covered effect use it with a sponge so you can tap it as I did I combine it with Lisa Eldridge Kitten Mischief it is a beautiful nude shade so it's a 
rosy beige so it has a warm undertones you see and it's very beautiful with a grey I think it's one of the shades I love the most with a grey because grey can really be combined with everything because it's a neutral you know and you can use it with a cool pink spectrum or also with a warm beige range of colors and in my opinion I really love it with um, uh, just a little warm touch because it really creates a more natural maybe look instead if you use um, cool pink you will have a more um, dramatic in a way look I don't call it dramatic because it's always light colors but yes you emphasize the, the cool dark side of the grey instead with a warm colors you soft everything that's what I mean I hope it makes sense and on my cheeks I used also pink poetry blush I use it quite with everything because I love it how it melts with the uh, with your skin natural look uh, even if gives you a very pop of color so I know that for Chanel lovers this look could be less classic in a way but I really love it so thank you for watching I hope this video could be helpful for you let me know of your impressions and follow me also on Instagram see you soon bye